Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here, and today I have some zombie Call of Duty gameplay for you. This is some gameplay that I promised for you guys uh, quite a while ago. I think it was in one of my Minecraft Let's Plays. Uh, it has been a long, a long time because I haven't been uploading recently. Um, just because I've been on holiday, I've actually gone away on holiday, and when I've come back, I've kind of been like busy with my own thing, like going out and stuff with friends. So yeah, sorry about that. I know that I should have kind of been uploading and stuff like that. I do have like certain videos ready, like Minecraft videos and. Um, various zombie videos and I've got like clips for Ben Bosch and Al and stuff like that but I just haven't had time to put it all together but anyway right here you will have seen me at the beginning of the game you will have seen me aiming at Ian and George Romero this was to show you that if you knife George Romero at the beginning of round one it, when he's in the water the zombies will spawn a lot faster they usually take quite a while to spawn because it usually takes um, a while for George Romero to get to the shore of the, like the map and then they usually spawn then, but if you actually knife them, they do spawn a lot faster, which we fa which we found to be very useful um, in just kind of like speeding up the game and getting it all done and over with, because you kind of want to get the first couple of rounds done and over with because they're kind of boring, and just get on to like the hectic stuff. But yeah, that's um, something that we found out, I don't know, I don't know where we found that out from, but um, just, some people may know it, some people may not, but you know, just have to see. Anyway, what I like to do in the first like few rounds is I like to say put like four or five bullets into a zombie and then knife it just to try and get as many points as I can. You'll see me here put about five bullets into the guy and knife him. Uh, we were quite lucky in getting double points, um, so the next bit for us was quite easy. But what we like to do is try and get to um, about 3,000 points and then move on because there's three of us. It kind of like 3,000 points just seems like a reasonable number to move on and get through the doors. But that's what we do right here. We all have about 3,000 points, except from Ben, who actually opened the first door, so that's why he hasn't got 3,000 points. But what we like to do is we like to make our way towards the power because we find that the power and getting perks and stuff is a lot more important than having a good gun because you could have something like the ray gun or whatever, which is most probably classed the best weapon in zombies. I know, well, in, in, in this zombies, um, I know in other maps, things like the thunder gun and stuff like that are a lot better. But um, really, the ray gun is classed a very good gun. But say if you got the ray gun and didn't have juggernaut and you're trying to kill these zombies and you just happen to get like stuck in the corner, then it takes two hits for you to go down. And with the ray gun, like most probably having like um like backlash on you and stuff, I don't know what it's called when that happens. But like when you take damage off the ray gun, like sometimes you can take damage from that and if you get hit by a zombie you're pretty much down. So um we think it's much more important to go to juggernaut first and get that. Um, right here you'll see me, I've picked up the MP40 and that and I think that costs a thousand. That's something we all like to do just to try and build our way up to towards uh, 2,500 points for Juggernaut. We kind of all like to come around and just pick up the MP40 and sometimes we'll hang around this area here which you'll see and um, we're just kind of like walking around like looking at what's happening. Or sometimes we'll actually like to go down Juggernaut. I'd advise actually going down into the Juggernaut room because it's a lot harder to defend up here because the zombies are coming from loads of different angles and it's kind of like there's a lot of obstacles in the way so if you're all trying to run at once and there's zombies in the way you're more likely to get stuck whereas right ha right now you'll see us kind of running down into the juggernaut room and um, <clears throat> yeah we're defending this room here because um, we find it's a really good easy to room to defend when we didn't actually have strategies where we ran about and stuff and um, we did those kind of strategies we actually just used to camp in one room and I would say if you still do that strategy like this is one of the best rooms to camp in it's got um, one entrance, it's got one window and it's also got like a little exit up the back. If everything gets a bit of a run you could run up the stairs at the back and get out there. But yeah, this is also very good because it's kind of got like a big like um like lake in I don't know if you call it a lake, it's just like a big puddle of water. Uh, but yeah, and like right there. So sometimes if you're lucky, the zombies will like freeze and it'll stop them coming towards you. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's um that's something very useful if there's like a big pool of water there. But yeah, this is where I would um, advise camping if you're still like kind of doing that sort of strategy of just sitting in one room defending the area. But um, we don't tend to do that right here. We're getting Juggernaut and moving on. So you'll see me kind of shoot some of the zombies. But yeah, um, I do have the, this video will be split up into two videos. Like I've got the first part just showing you certain things like what doors we open and um, like just different things like that. But we also I do also have a second video which shows you the actual strategies that I use and the routes that I run and stuff like that which is uh, very good. Um, I'd just like to thank Ian and Ben as well for helping me out and coming and play. I don't think it was much of a task for them because as I said we do really enjoy playing zombies. Um, but yeah, um, if this uh, like zombie let's play stuff goes well, uh, I think I might do one on Triangle High. I'm not sure, Like I don't really 
think I'm not really too fond of Triangle High. I wouldn't say it was one of my favourite maps. I might do one on Kino de Totten, but um, everyone kind of knows like strategies from Kino de Totten, I'd say. I mean, most people know um, strategies from this map, but Kino de Totten is kind of like one of those maps which is pretty self-explanatory. But I don't know. Um, if you guys are interested in that, just tell me, and I'm sure that Ian and Ben and any other person that wants to come play, like one of my friends, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to come play with me and we'll show you the different strategies we have. But yeah, um, right here you see Ian just kind of like tearing up George the Death Machine. Um, just like shooting him. I think we leave at this part here because we've all got Juggernauts, so we kind of leave to go into our different strategies. I don't know what. I don't know what's happening. I'm pretty sure I cut the video in a second. But yeah, um, we all kind of knew what to do straight away. It should be about this round, like rounds uh, six, seven, or eight, where you kind of tend to have Juggernaut and have like an MP40, and you're all getting ready to sort of. Um, we're getting ready to sort of move away because um, by this round it's kind of there's more zombies coming they're getting a lot faster they're turning into runners and they're getting stronger so you're going to want to kind of uh, start going into strategies and being able to defend yourself so I would definitely advise that um, <clears throat> if you're not if you've not got juggernaut and like a good sort of gun by round 10 I advise you or by round 9 even I'd advise you definitely trying to get it in moving into your strategies whether it be camping or whether it be the routes that you run so I don't know when I'm going to cut this video, but I think I cut it here. I don't know. Um, yeah, right here, um, <clears throat> I'm showing you the certain doors we open. Obviously, I've skipped forward to round 10. I've got like an organ stuff. Um, but I show you the certain doors we open. Um, we open the whole of the lighthouse up from top to bottom, except from the one door at the bottom, which you see me aim at here, this door here, because um, Ben actually runs the rape train outside. Uh, many of you will know the rape train from a very famous YouTube and zombie player, Pro Syndicate. He was the one that actually made the rape train, so I can't take any credit for that at all. Neither can Ben or Ian or whatever, um, because it is actually, I'm pretty sure it's his, and he made it up. But yeah, um, he sort of runs the rape train. We kind of like took his idea and then kind of adapted it into um, our own idea, because usually the rape train is only done with, say, one person, but we kind of adapted it into using it for three people. So we've got our own little things that we do, like I'll do one thing up at the lighthouse, and Ian will do his other thing just behind Ben. So we're all kind of getting points, but um, it's very easy because we kind of split up all the zombies in a way. So instead of having like um, all the zombies going for Ben, we kind of split them up into thirds. But yeah, anyway, right here you're kind of seeing me run the route of um, the strategy that I would do. But I'm also showing you all the doors we open. You need to open all these doors that I've kind of I'm kind of running through here because um, you especially need to open that door back there in the container because without that door open, you won't be able to use the zip line, which is a very vital point in the. Uh, and the strategy that we use but yeah right here this is where ben kind of runs the rape train i'm also aiming at that door reminding you not to open that door because it's just harder you can open this door i definitely advise open this door if someone's running the rape train they get a bit stuck or hectic or something happens this is a good door to escape from but yeah that's me right back to the beginning here and i'm just like yay i've shown you it okay so this is going to skip forward to me and ben and ian uh, killing george what we like to do um when we get a scavenger in the box and we've got a lot of points is we usually upgrade it because it's going to kill George like really fast. I don't know if Ian's upgraded it or not, but um, we do like to tend to kind of upgrade it or just shoot George a bit because um, the scavenger takes a lot of damage off uh, George. And I don't know if you know or not, some of you will, it's kind of an obvious thing, but if you kill George, you get an extra perk and something like a death machine or something, which is very, 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 very useful, especially if you've got four perks because you're obviously going to get five. And you can carry on to get as many perks as you can I, can't, I don't know, really know how many perks there are, I think there's seven, don't, I don't know, that could be completely wrong, but I just think there's seven or eight or something like that, but um, yeah, every time you kill George you get a perk, I think you get a different perk for like every time you kill him, like say, you basically can't get the same perk twice, that's basically what I'm trying to say, but yeah, right here you're kind of seeing me and Ian and Ben sort of laying into George, and just shooting like RPKs, HKs and like ray guns and everything and basically if you just kind of like shooting the scavenger like a whole like un like upgraded like clips of the scavenger it should take his health quite far down and then you just basically have to spray it in with um, like big machine guns and stuff like that thankfully um, a few of the ray guns and stuff were upgraded so it was a bit quicker to kill him but I'm, I'm trying not to use all my ammo on him right here but anyway um, George is about to die here as you'll see um, I think we spray him and that's him dead there. But anyway, this is the gameplay coming to an end here guys and um, I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, zombie gameplay tutorial and if you do want more um, I might do a Shrangle High one, maybe a Keener to Totten one. 
but um, I'll definitely be bringing you a zombie video too on this map, showing you various strategies. So thanks again guys, and I shall see you all later. Okay, bye.